All right, ladies and gentlemen, today in class we are going to do the South Dakota interest survey, which is really just an interest survey that I found online. It's going to help you kind of decide what your first project is going to be about jobs versus about your chosen career. So what you're going to do today is you're going to go through and you're going to use this scale. So one means you dislike it very much, you hate. You'd hate to do this job as a living. Five means you like it very much and you would love to do this job as a living. So what you're going to do is read each of these and think about them. I don't want you talking while doing this survey because I want you to really focus on what you think. So you're going to so you're going to do all of these. So you're going to go through and circle. All right. So once you've done all of this page and all of this page, so there is a there are 108 questions. You need to do all 108. Then once you've done that, you are going to pull out the second worksheet. And you're going to make sure to put your name at the top. And you're going to go through and you're going to record your answers. Because these interest areas are what we're going to talk about in a couple of classes. So item one, so that means I go to question one and I circle, I circle the five. So I'm going to write a five. And then it says item two, I did a two. Item three. I did a three. Item four, I did a four. Item five, I did a two. So I'm going to go and I'm going to transpose all of those numbers onto that this paper here until I've got all 108. Then you can use your device as a calculator or you can just add it up. You're going to add this entire column all the way down and then you're going to write the totals right down here. Once you've got all five totals, you're going to find the area with the highest interest score and you're going to write it here. You're going to find the second highest total and you're going to write it here and the third highest total. You're going to need these three when we go to talk about this in a couple of classes. So this is not just busy work, this is work that we're going to refer back to so you need to make sure to complete it. Use your time wisely today in class, and it should get all completed in class today. Any questions you may ask me or the substitute, please take out your worksheets and get started.